I've always found that to understand how you get anywhere, it's usually a good idea to go back to the beginning. And our beginning occurred on July 28, 2012. It's strange because you are quite aware I don't have the best memory. But I remember so much about that day. I still remember every detail about our initial interaction, even down to your exact outfit. You were in a denim vest with bright red pants and toms, and your hair was this dirty blonde color. When I saw you, I remember my first thought being, hmm, red pants. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I remember your nonchalant attitude as you walked up to us at Star Tours and your facial expression that just screamed, I don't really know what I'm doing here, but whatever, let's just go with it. <laughs> I'm very grateful that you stuck it out. That first day felt like it came straight out of a movie, filled with so much laughter and joy, and even a super awkward moment on Tower of Terror. I wish I had known then that I had just spent my first day with the love of my life. Toto. Oh, okay. <laughs> I used to think that my perfect partner would be someone who was similar to me, aka another balloon, but I was wrong. One might think how a cactus and a balloon can ever be together, but I'm happy to say we made it work. I admit, our initial differences was what made me into a personality test expert, from Myers Briggs to to Enneagram, to disc. I surely took them all to try and figure us out. Come to find, you're a feeler, and I'm a thinker. You're a natural extrovert, and I'm a fake extrovert. You enjoy small talks, and I only like anything strikingly deep. You help me learn more about myself than anyone else ever did. As much as I don't believe in soulmates, you're the closest thing to one I will ever find. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh fuck. I didn't do that. I'm sorry. Okay. You look fantastic. Oh, thanks. That looks good. Right? Yeah. I look good. Some of you might know him as Tony, some of you might know him as Anthony. He was known as the pickiest kid. Oh my god, was he picky. But, you know, as he got older, he got uh, way worse. <laughs> but it's because of this that I know that he made the right decision with Luby. <laughs> And not to take too much credit, but that fateful day that they met was actually my birthday. So uh, you're, you're welcome. She's always been an overachiever. Fear is 
definitely not on Luby's side. But ironically, we both kind of feared marriage growing up. We love our freedom. But I'm so happy she overcame her biggest fear in committing to a person like Tony and really give him all the attention, the love. And I really, I'm really happy for you for you know finding somebody like that.